In the previous episode we started with experimenting with the EV3 Giro Drift and ways to remove it. We looked at a hardware solution and in this video we will explore different software solutions. As you can see the brick currently, although it is not moving, shows that the Giro sensor is moving and that's an effect called EV3 Giro Drift. Let's look for ways to remove this drift. As you can see the brick is currently connected to the computer and we can see the result of the Giro Drift. A simple program for solving this drift is to use the Giro sensor block. The Giro sensor is connected on port 1 and we have the first block measuring rate, the second block measuring angle and after that we have a simple weight. This should cause a reset in the, in the sensor and from then on the value detected from the sensor should be correct. These blocks are now run each time we start our program and our program is basically to output the value of the Giro sensor. So here I'll just get the value and display this value on the screen. I would like to wire, display text and show the value on the screen and after we display the value we wait for about a second. So again we start the program with calibrating the sensor by reset not by resetting but by changing the rate that is measuring first the rate and then the angle we wait for about a second and we start the loop and in this loop we just measure the angle and display this angle on the screen let's see how this works now this is where it gets really interesting after running the program as you can see it should calibrate, reset the value of the zero sensor and from then on we measure only the real value, not the drift. But currently I'm not moving the brick and we can see that there is a zero drift. From our experience what, what I've personally found is that for some bricks it works the program that we have just written for other it just doesn't work let me just start the same program for another brick i have simulated the zero drift on another brick uploaded the program and now i'm holding the brick in my hand and as you can see there is no zero drift actually the differences are from the movement of my arm as a conclusion we have simple program for calibrating the sensor but it seems that this program works on some sensor on some bricks and on other bricks it doesn't work so i recommend that you use the hardware solution and the link for this solution is provided below in the description of the video